Breakdown. This is Blake Seven, Series One. We're continuing our review of every episode of the greatest show ever, Blake's Seven. Well, it's my third favorite show, but it does have Avon, who's the greatest character ever. <laughs> um, all right. This one, uh, Gan's chip, inhibitor chip, it's going wonky. And he's attacking people. And he went, and, and listen, Gan is a big dude. Um, and Callie weighs about two pounds, I think, last time I checked. Uh, and he's got, uh, he could literally pick her up and like throw her through the, the liberator ship. Like, I mean, it's crazy. So he's going crazy. They got to figure out a way to fix this chip. Can they remove it? Mm, Avon doesn't think so, but there is a doctor at this medical space station, <clears throat> which, uh, he can repair it. They got to get there. Zed, what's the best course to get there? Oh, you got to go, th you know, whatever hours through this thing. And they're like, no, there is an easier way. Uh, but it's a dangerous way and Zen shuts down. So there's fixing Zen and the inhibitor chip in one episode. So we're going to talk about this using my space system, story, pacing, artistry, characters, enjoyment. Each category gets a score between zero and two. Um, I'm going to give the storyline a 1.5. I like this one. It's pretty good. Um, I love all of Blake 7, of course, or I wouldn't be doing these. Uh, and I'm comparing them to themselves, right? So if you take your top best Blake 7 episodes and let's say they're all 10 out of 10, and then you take your, your bottom ones, which maybe aren't as good, there's not gonna be any episode of Blake 7 that's gonna get less than like a five or six out of 10. Just to, I'm just gonna let you know that right off the bat here. Um, but that's how we're doing it. We're kind of comparing it to themselves. I love Blake 7. Um, I actually love all four seasons. So there you go. Uh, yeah, this was pretty good. So I like that there's two things going on at the same time. And the stuff with Gan really picks up in the last half of the episode. So the first half is just like, okay, we've got to figure out what's going on. But then it really kicks into high gear. And um, the doctor and scientists that they get, and I'll cover this in the characters, they're interesting characters. Um, I like the way this played out. It was pretty damn good. And at this point in time, the way Terry Nation does his shows is like, you're not really sure who's going to live or die. It's weird. That's the cool thing about Blake 7. Like, you watch the first couple episodes and you thought, oh, this guy will be somebody. And then they, and then they're dead. Like I thought for sure that lawyer and his wife were going to like continue on and, oh, they're going to be helping Blake. Maybe they're going to be his contact or now nah, they're dead. And you're like, oh, so you don't really know, like maybe Gan won't make it. You're not sure because you know, if you watched Blake seven, that the cast that started out is not the cast that ends. So you're like, all right. Anyway, I thought there was some good suspense, so 1.5 for the story. I'm going to give the pacing a 1.5 as well. Um, Blake 7 and these older shows typically are a bit slower paced, but sometimes I still give them a 2 out of 2 for pacing because I'm so interested in what's going on. This one, pretty damn good. So 1 means it's okay, 2 means it's fantastic. Uh, so it's in between that. It's just, it's a definitely above good. I wouldn't say it's fantastic pacing, Um you know, there's a couple of, you know, it's like, okay, Avon's just trying to fix the ship and he's like just pressing stuff. You're like, okay. Uh, but Gan does get out and attacks. That's kind of neat. So um, it is still, and then once the doctors show up, you're like, oh, what's, and you think, oh, this doctor's going to do all this stuff. And then he's just like an ass. You're like, oh, that's crazy. So pretty good. There's some unexpected things. Um, I'm going to give the artistry an actual, a two out of two, because again, I'm not talking about effects, like comparing this to, like Star Wars. I'm saying like, at the time, what they could do, there's a lot of locations. Like, there's been some episodes, um, they're just only on the Liberator. So you're like, well, you know, you got your liter Liberator set and that's it. This actually had a lot of different, like, locations because there's the space station also. And then you see the station in the in, in the in um, in space. And then you see them going through that, you know, um, that nebula, whatever, whatever it is, that danger zone space part. That's kind of neat. So there's more going on than just them being on the ship. So I'm going to give it a two because they're trying the best that they can with what they've got. Okay. And I appreciate that. I'm not watching these shows and being an ass about it. I'm like, wow, that's, that's just a model. And oh, that's just superimposed. This is so terrible. Blah, blah, blah. Like, okay. I mean, whatever, right? Like what's your show? Show me your show that you made <laughs> with the same budget, you know? Anyway, so thought it, everything looked good. Characters. Oh yeah. Two out of two. Are you kidding me right now? Uh, first, Avon's the best. Everyone knows that. Um, Blake's pretty damn awesome. Jenna's great. Everyone is awesome. I actually like every character. Villa. I like Callie. I like. I actually like every character in Blake Seven. I, I don't know if I can rank them. Um, Avon is clearly the best for me though. But he's got a great part here because they're like, oh, we can save Gan, but we need to get to a place fast. And there's different ones they can pick. And Avon's like, well, this is the best bet, but there's a quicker way to get there. 
and he knows a secret way and he knows a place to go. And the thing is, he had he never told anyone because he was saving it for himself. But you see, when Gan's life was in danger, he did help. This is the this is why I, I'm, I'm going to have to do a video on why Avon's the best character. There's these little things that it's it's just it's Paul Darrow plus in the script and it, with Terry Nation and all that. They they've created this character who he he seems like he's an ass kind of, but like crunch time and he's there and, and, and he's there more than anyone else is there, right? It's it's hard to explain. You you almost have to like really think about or research this and and you know. It, there's just a feeling there you're like yeah he is gonna save them and when it comes down to it he will right there's a great episode that's in the future still where Blake and Avon have a little bit of dialogue and Blake's like I've always trusted you and it's like yes that was so powerful it was so good um anyways love Avon um uh, you know the doctors here and that administrator guy were pretty good you thought the doctor was gonna be this big guy yep I'm gonna help out and I'm gonna I'm the doctor, I'm going to save everybody. And then you saw his assistant and you're like, oh, he's hitting up on the girls. And he's, you know, it's like, hey, how's it going? And, you know, and you're like, oh, pretty girls. Ha, ha. And you thought, oh, this guy will be a jerk. But then actually that guy is more honorable than the doctor. The doctor ends up being an ass. And even that administrator guy was pretty cool. And then Avon's got his decision to make. Do I stick with Blake or do I go with these guys? And of course he picks Blake because that is the right thing to do. Um, loved all the characters in this one. So yeah, two out of two. Enjoyment factor 1.5. I really liked this episode a lot. Um, it's not a stand up and cheer and do a backflip because it's so awesome, but it's pretty damn awesome. I'm giving it an 8.5 out of 10. Damn good stuff. Again, if you ask me Blake 7 versus another show, I'm going to say Blake 7 unless that show is Doctor Who or Star Trek. But like, you know, other than that, it's the best. So if you say, what about Starsky and Hutch, which I also love, Starsky and Hutch versus Blake. Well, Blake 7 is better, right? So this episode of Blake 7 is still better than an episode of Starsky and Hutch, let's say. So, um, but yeah, absolutely love the 8.5. Um, if you like my space system, please remember to like the video and consider subscribing to the channel. Check out the playlist for classic TV shows. There's lots, lots of Star Trek on there right now. Uh, Blake 7 is going to be on there and more stuff as I go. So that's it, everybody. Thanks for watching. Until next time.